can you explain the different phases that people go through when they're suffering from TSW? This is another important bit of yeah. information for everyone. So if we say phase number, zero, phase number zero is the onset. So this is before stopping the, yep. uh, the topical steroid creams. So many people have already mm. symptoms and problems with the skin for years and years before they find out that this might be TSW, what they're having. So oftentimes what they have is mm. that the spots are migrating to other places where they never had eczema or a rash before. They also might develop sun sensitivity. That means that they cannot, cannot be in the sun anymore. You get a sunburn straight away in a couple of minutes time. And also the spots feel different. Mm. So they're more intense red and they're very hot. They feel very warm. And they're struggling this for years and years and the rash spreading and getting bigger. So this is the onset. At a certain point, people find out, oh, this mm. might be TSW research and then they stop using the creams. Then first of all, your skin gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And you experience a lot of symptoms. There is redness of the skin, there is flaking, there is coldness in the body, there is shivering, there might be jerking and muscle, uh, muscle spasms. Of course, a lot of itchiness, bone deep itchiness, not being able to sleep because of this. It can be hair loss, it can be um, temporarily a loss of the menses for the ladies. Um, it can be swollen lymph nodes. Mm. Um, so there's a whole set of symptoms. And the the lowest point is you you should be able to reach the lowest point within four to eight weeks time. So after this point, mm. the immune system, the local immune system of your skin starts normalizing again and things start you could you you can experience that the skin slowly becomes thicker again and you you can scratch it a little bit more without immediately breaking the skin this the rash can still pr spread up to 6 months around that time but the body is already working and functioning in healing the skin so the worst point is between 4 and 8 weeks if you reach the lowest point and oftentimes you have a month of quite good recovery and then starts a very, very slow recovery rate. So why is the recovery rate so slow in TSW? Because one of the actions of the topical steroid creams is that it's anti-proliferative. This means that it suppresses the making of new skin cells. So if you look at skin, then on the basal cells, the, the stem cells, they produce new skin cells all your life long. They, they just, the only thing is they slow down a little bit when you get older. So in a child, it renews the skin within about three weeks and maybe when you're really old, six weeks. But they can keep on producing skin cells. But the topical steroid creams, they lower the productivity. So the skin cell proliferation rate is lowered. And if this is done over a prolonged period of time, it takes the body a lot, a lot of time to start up this process again. So the thickening of the skin goes really, 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 really slow. And this is why topical steroid withdrawal takes so, so long to heal. Now, in the, in the phase number two of topical steroid withdrawal, people, skin looks very affected. They are flaking, it's open, it's broken. They can have oozing, swelling, and all these symptoms going on. At a certain point, the skin has mm. healed enough that you look normal again. And this is something that is very unknown in the community. When your skin looks normal again, it reached only 70% skin thickness. This means that your skin is still very thin, sensitive, and fragile. Mm. But when people look normal, they think, mm. life again! And what oh, they do? Oh. They go on working, they <laughs> yeah. go to restaurants, they go to places, um, and they have stress, and so on. But the skin is only 70% thickness, so they start flaring again. Mm. You can still flare from anything. When the skin is only 70%, you're super, super sensitive to anything in the air and irritants and chemicals. So in the topical steroid community, people say TSW is a beast and you don't know what's going to happen and it can come back on any time and you don't know why. But this is actually not true. There's always a reason why you flare. And this is 
repeated over and over again when I was in my time, I was in Thailand, I've been there four months. And um, I really had to learn that this was correct information and that every time that I flared, I could find a reason. What is also unknown and mostly not talked about in the TSW community is irritant exposure. And why is this? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Why is yes. yep. this? Got because it. you never reacted to irritants before. So a lot of people, they can deduct mm. like, oh, I have stress, I get a flare. Oh, I didn't sleep very well, I got a flare. I drank alcohol, I got a flare. So you learn quite fast. But irritant exposure, a lot of people don't know about because there are things you never reacted to before. It's only because your skin is mm. so thin and so damaged by the use of the topical steroid creams that you start reacting to irritants. And irritants can be things like perfumes, mm. air refresheners, cleaning detergents, can be old dust with dust mites. It can be chemicals from your printer in your office. It can be chemicals in your new car or chemicals on new furniture. It can be from a renovation, like chemicals in the air from paint or from glue. And people flare up because of irritants. And in some cases, people have irritant exposure on a day-to-day -day basis. If this is happening, the skin God. cannot heal at all. And this is not well understood in the community. So there are people out there who are living with TSW for many, many years, not knowing that there is actually an irritant exposure in the place where they live at home on a daily basis. So this is very important information to understand about the phases of topical steroid withdrawal. At a certain point, the skin is getting stronger and stronger. So let's say it goes to 80% skin thickness. You will find that you flare less easily, and then you go on to another phase in it, and you, flares, you won't flare so easy. But if you have combined factors, you can still flare. For example, you go to through a divorce, um, you have high stress, you're not sleeping well enough, and you go move to another place, you do some renovation, you can still flare. So this is why the healing time also of topical steroid withdrawal can take many, many, many years.